Uh-huh. Hello. Now I can hear you. Now you can hear me? Yeah. All right. I I just, I went a few, few minutes early to try to straighten this out. I was hoping not to run into this issue. I don't know what it is with Instagram. Um, so let me get Alex in here. So, sorry about that. I, uh, I still sound um, like a squeaky person, but at least I have a voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So sorry to everyone that the audio is working on my behalf. <laughs> oh, it's... Well, my was always fickle. <laughs> Hello, Alex. Hello. Hi. Now I Forgive know. the extremely messy look this afternoon. <sighs> yeah, it's all right. I'm getting Riley in here now, um, and then we should be good to go. Uh, hey, fantastic. How are you both? Good. Uh, I get... still sound terrible, but I'm good. I'm well. <laughs> well, I, I I told our fabulous host earlier I could go on a screaming frenzy prior to, and, and so that way our voices could match. Hello, Riley. What's up, everyone? <laughs> okay. What? We, are, we are all here. I uh, started a few minutes early, hoping not to run into these issues. Um <laughs> That's all right. Happens every time. But, Something does. All right. So, um, basically, um, this is, you know, free. You know, whatever you guys want to talk about. You know, uh, there's no script here or anything. Um, and we'll go for about a half an hour or so. Um, so, yeah. Is that cool to everybody? Thank you. With me. And um, I uh, got some questions here that I will save towards the end. Um, but for right now, but for right now, um, I will just answer questions that come in and we can just talk about whatever. Sounds good. I wore my Nickelodeon colored shirt today because I'm a cheerleader. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I've got my uh, Zeke the plumber from Salute Your Shorts on today. (laughs) I've actually, I've I've never seen Salute Your Shorts. What? I, I know, like, I, I, I can't find it anywhere. No, it's it's tough to find. There there are a few episodes on uh, Paramount Plus, but that's that's really it. Um, my brother but, and me was pretty good of the uh, yeah, obscure, my brother was awesome. of the obscure I, Nick shows. I, I still wish that Amazon carried those burn on demand DVDs. I was really disappointed because yeah. I couldn't get it in time before the program closed. And you know, when I saw your interview with uh, Jim Coleman. Uh, Alex, I was kind of like, ah, you know, I wish I would have grabbed it sooner, you know? Well, uh, off the record, hit me up, and we'll see if we can't find a way that I can get what I've got sent to you. Oh, off okay. record on live Instagram. That's right. <laughs> That's how this, I <laughs> this is completely off topic, but this is like my trick that I do to everyone. All right. Can you guys do this? That's a cartoon. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I my, I have like bobbly cheeks. I could just like <laughs> jiggle them around everywhere. It's really strange. Oh my gosh. If I did that, I think things would come out of my head. I, I don't know. That's, <laughs> that's danger. Danger, Will Robinson. <laughs> Whoa. Well, I've, I do have a question for you, Catherine. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if somebody has ever asked this previously before or not, so I apologize if it's a, if it's a repeat question. But within acting, what's one of the more challenging things that you've had to endure? Um, well, let's see. So um, one of my favorite and most challenging things was um, one of my – best friends. Um, I I went to Florida State for a semester of college a long time ago. Um, And my best friend, his thesis for the master's program there was called The Plunge. And it was just a a short film that ended up winning some awesome awards. But um, I was one of the leads in that. And it we had to go skydiving and we had to go bungee jumping. And I was 20 years old. So I was like, yeah I get to jump out of planes and it's gonna be amazing and then we had to fly to Idaho because there was no bridge tall enough to jump off of in the southeastern United States which is daunting uh, number one and then when they finally hooked us up we had to do like a tandem jump so the joke was we were getting married 
and then jumping off a bridge. And um, so I was in a full wedding gown and he was in a tux, the other actor. And we mm -hmm. had to um, count to three, wait, count to three, jump, turn towards each other while falling, count to three again, and then like hook onto each other. Or otherwise we would like crash into one another and possibly mm -hmm. not get out uh, while falling. So no big deal. And we had to do that three times in a row. And we did that before. Wow. So I was like, Oh, I'm gonna die. This is awful. Why wow. am I standing on the other side of the bridge? But um, then we went skydiving a couple weeks later and ended up being the most amazing thing ever. But yeah, that was definitely the most difficult and actually probably had nothing to do with really acting. Just being terrified in a wedding just, gown. Just let, let the emotions take over at that point. Yeah, yeah. What I was film like, you get one more shot, you guys. One more. <laughs> what film was that? Uh, it's called The Plunge. It's a short film. It's If you look it up on YouTube and you look up like Florida State Film School, The Plunge, um, it's actually delightful. Um, delightful. Todd, Todd Shulman directed it and he um, <clears throat> now produces for Sasha Baron Cohen and, and writes and, and does all this awesome stuff. So. It's I awesome. Got a, I got a question about Janet. Yeah. Keenan and Kel. Because that's one of my favorite shows. What was it like being right next to Keenan and Cal, just like seeing them work their magic? Was that like what was that like? Well, I um, so I'm a closet introvert, so I'm actually really shy, and uh, I was super nervous at first, especially because the first time I was on set, Kim Fields was directing, so that was another big like, oh my god, Tootie is here, and this is so exciting, and um, and I had been big fans of. Keenan and Kels because I watched all that and I had sat in the audience for all that and I mean watched Saturday Night Live my whole life like I just I get starstruck no matter what all the time and I, I was 14 so I was just like I'm I wish I could just bottle up their charisma and their comfort level and you know like that that it is what it is like they just had something that most of us don't have, and it, it was just awesome being around them. They're pretty cool. Did Very you ever funny. break character? Did they ever make you laugh? Because I mean, Keenan was always every single time you had to say something. Keenan, <laughs> that was the question I was going to ask. Actually, was it? <laughs> uh, uh, I got my open to Janet. Yeah, mind your own damn business. <laughs> um, yes, because like, and a lot of times they they would ad lib around what the script was. I mean, all the time. Yeah. Especially they'd get even more confident in front of a studio audience. And then the studio audience would hilar like just crack up. And uh, and I would have so much trouble not laughing. So yeah. They're, and I, I'm a giggle. What, what did you call me once? Like a giggle puss or something. And I like, I absolutely <laughs> am. That is the perfect word for me. So I was giggling all the time. <laughs> One question I have for you, Riley, um, because it's been, you know, uh, me and Alex talked about, you know, he, he watched obviously, um, back in the day. Um, but I'm not really too sure about you. When did you actually start watching, uh, Keenan and Kel? Like how long ago did you start watching? That was probably like three years ago. It was, we moved, uh, like about three years ago and I was super depressed and this is great. Cause this just, I was I was super depressed, so such at a low point, and I was like, I don't have anything to get me through this. But Keenan and Kel, I discovered that show, and that just made me like, it didn't make it better, but it, it made me like, got me through it, which was great. And that that was about three years ago. And uh, I've watched Drake and Josh my whole life. Like those are guys I just grew up watching. And so when I watched Keenan and Kel, I'm like, this is like Drake. This is like watching Drake and Josh because like. I watched, like I said, I've been watching Drake and Josh my whole life, so it's like I rewatch the same episodes. It's kind of like, like watching Drake and Josh again, like because it's like watching more episodes of Drake and Josh is how I originally thought of it, because uh -huh. it's very similar and it's it's two guys just hilarious. They have great chemistry, and I loved it. And it's, I had mentioned that that's kind of how I, you know, uh, went back in the time machine and you know found out about um keenan and kel because you know i had mentioned before to captain in an interview i'm like 
a big nerd with all the you know Nickelodeon shows like I I love you know all of them uh I try to watch as many as possible and then obviously uh Alex does an amazing job covering shows from the 90s I mean I could watch your page all day with your clips that you put up Same. Thank I'm so excited to have been introduced to Alex I'm like obsessed with your page so <laughs> <laughs> I was really excited to see that uh, you had watched Welcome Freshman with your dad. That was really cool memory to share. Yeah, so that and sorry, um, sorry to interrupt. I, but um, yeah, that and Full House. Those were our shows. So yeah, we'd and then like every Tuesday night, and uh, my dad would just like I just remember him sitting there. You know, I have a weird memory, but like those moments with my dad were so important and he would just chuckle and be, and he, he's like ridiculously smart and he's, and he would watch that and just be like, this is amazing. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it, it, I'm sorry. It, it cracks me up every single time I make a post. I'll, I'll get a notification almost immediately. Keenan and Kel super fan liked this. God, you have notifications on for me. Cause every single time there's, <laughs> It's like oh, there he is, but it's it's awesome. I, I've got uh, several who who continuously follow, and they're they're my steady supporters, which is awesome. But uh, it's been a lot of fun showing off these different shows that newer generation or generation after mine can get into. Yeah, which would be me and Riley because we're a little <laughs> bit younger than you too um so that would definitely be like us kind of finding like these gems for the first time you know um so for anybody um you know in the in the uh live that's watching feel free to ask questions um you know whatever you want to know uh we're all here so um and like hello said, everybody in the chat i will save the uh previous questions i got for the end um, yeah feel free to heckle us as well uh, on <laughs> <laughs> I got a question for all three of you and, and anyone in chat, really. Uh, what's your guys' favorite 90s Nick show? Ooh. Oh, I know. Can I go first? Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, Clarissa explains it all. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. my God. I, that's a good show, yeah. I, I'm a, a friends with so his character's name was, uh, wait, not Sam, but Clifford. Clifford Spleenherfer. Yeah, it was the, that was her boyfriend for a while, yeah. Yeah, David. <laughs> so when I was 12, like way before I got cast, well, a couple years before I got cast in um, Keenan and Kel, um, I was in a play when I first moved to Orlando, and David was – it was Gypsy and David was in it with me. And I was like, oh my God, you're Clifford. Like, and he was like, this little kid, like, will not. And I was like, dude, this is so cool. I and I just like had the biggest crush on him and I would try to take pictures with him all the time. And it eventually just got to be where I was like, I just did it because it ended up being annoying. But like, I was so- Bragging to everyone. Yeah, yeah they're like, Catherine, calm down. You're in the same show, like, it's fine. But, uh, but yeah. So, um, I love that show. I, someone I, in chat said guts. Yeah, we've had yeah. Uh, someone said guts and Rocco's Modern Life and Rugrats. They've all popped up in the chat. Yeah. Oh, uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple. Mm -hmm. I was on that. I haven't seen were any you? game shows. Any uh, Nick game shows? I've never seen any were, of them. Were you one of the uh, contestants? Yeah. Which te which team was it? Um, the blue. Or wait, Green Monkeys? Green, Green Monkeys? Yep. Do you remember what the legend was? It was uh, Dr. Livingston, I presume. Yeah, I've been I might be, trying to I find might be giving you a shout sometime about that. <laughs> okay. I, I've, I've been trying to uh, go back and find that, but I haven't found it yet. But I've been <laughs> looking for it. Keenan and Kel, super fan, what, what is your favorite 90s Nick show? Oh, man, it's kind of a, a hard one because, like, I'm just discovering some of these um, since, you know, obviously I'm younger. Um, Stop I mean, pointing that out. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> you know. <laughs> it, it, you know, I can't help it. Um, besides, obviously, Keenan and Kel, um, 
Hmm. I would. I, I'm not too sure. I'll be honest. I'm not too sure if this was late '80s or early '90s. So you can correct me on this, Alex. But uh, another one that I really like is the Adventures of Pete and Pete. Uh, that was '90s. Yeah, definitely that, '90s. I was watching not too long ago that um, scene where um, it was. Oh, I think it was Artie um, mm-hmm. when he leaves uh, Pete. You know to um you know like be with other kids you know protect other kids and you know pete's like why do you gotta leave you know um, yeah that that one's a really good one uh farewell my little viking part two mm-hmm. was that one uh that that's this that's one of my favorite episodes of that series uh to answer riley's question i can't pick one because there's so many different genres i can pick one of each genre uh, but i can't because they're so different uh game show which is kind of uh blasphemous to say but legends is not my favorite guts is not my favorite double dare is not my favorite i love all three but figure it out is my favorite uh and the reason that one's my favorite is because they made it about the kid and the kid got to be interviewed by celebrity panelists and that idea i mean it's it's very much a uh a, a redo of what's my line which was an old game show i love but, i actually really like that show but I, I love line. figure it out and uh for comedy pete and pete followed closely with salute your shorts but uh pete, pete and pete is such a surreal comedy and and i love the camera work that they've done for it and uh i love the fact that the two main characters pete and pete are even though little pete is highly aggressive they are the most subdued characters out of the entire supporting cast usually the adults are the absurd ones while the kids are the more mundane uh pointing out the obscurities uh for dramatic series Secret World of Alex Mack. As an adult, I fell in love with Are You Afraid of the Dark? But that was when I was an adult, because as a kid, I was too terrified to watch it. (laughs) But uh, as a kid, I loved Alex Mack, not just because it was my name, but I really resonated with that. Even though she had powers, she was still very much uh, secluded from everybody else and and was trying to find her way. And I, I... connected with that a lot and um nickelodeon had a lot of shows that really fit into this obscure category uh because you had shows like skate tv and nick news and uh things like that that didn't quite fit your normal genre category so in terms of that uh i would say being the sound of something new was my favorite and that's a highly obscure one that most people probably won't remember but die hard fans will know what that one is i always thought like I always oh nicktoon Snippy. sorry nicktoon ren and Snippy, and doug they both are my favorite so we got a comment here from uh db I, i'm not even trying to pronounce it i'm sorry it says uh that's I'm, all the I'm, I'm, I'm i'm bad with this stuff so you know 86 I'm, I'm sorry to the person who asked this uh it says the old gypsy fortune teller lady in a y a o t d still haunts me till this day uh mm-hmm. that might be something you know alex because i certainly don't know what that person's talking about <laughs> Yeah, that that was uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark episode. Oh, I the dark, okay. Yeah. Uh the old gypsy lady. I think I know which one that is, but I uh, it's it's escaping me at the moment. Uh if my if my co-host Brett was here from Splat Attack, he would know that instantly. Uh, he knows all of Are You Afraid of the Dark like the back of his hand like the way I am with James Bond movies. It's ridiculous. Awesome. All right. What about you, Riley? Ren and Stimpy. Easily my favorite. Not, it's my favorite animated show. My favorite 90s Nick show. Favorite. Probably my favorite show ever. I just... I. It's so... <laughs> just... Like it's, it's just so wild and out there. 
and I love how deep it is. It's it's got like all different types of comedy. I love how it was designed. I love Bob Camp. I love John Kay as controversial as he is. He made some good work. Yeah, is in. I don't want to get too much into the controversy, yeah. which uh, I think most of us don't. But regardless of, of John Kay as an individual, he did make a really, really great show. And when he was no longer a part of it, Bob Camp really did a great job continuing the series. And and I think Bob Camp gets a lot of flack, but I think he really carried the spirit of the show really well. Um, Ren and Stimpy did Cat Dog before Cat Dog did. Did you draw that, Riley? No, this is an autograph from John. Oh, oh, that's awesome. I had it framed until I used these uh, stupid Toontown Roger and Jessica things. <laughs> yeah, there, there was an episode of Ren and Stimpy, uh, I think it was in its last season, where the two of them were arguing out in the middle of the street and they got hit by a truck. And in order for the two of them to survive... Uh, a, a doctor had sewn them together, so they were quite literally cat wow. dog before cat dog was a thing. Wow! We have uh, something here from a uh, jib two one two three. Wienerville was another lost gem from the early nineties. Yes, yes. I actually had just found uh, a lady over in Facebook who got to go see a taping of Wienerville, and her mom got to do the Playland game. And uh, she lost, So, but she got slimed, and she did get the quote-unquote trophy, which was the golden hot or the silver hot dog, but it wasn't the trophy that they got to take home at all. It was very much like Guts, where they said, hey, you get the piece of the aggro crack, but they don't. It, it was uh, a little light, essentially. But that's uh, what they did with Wienerville, where they got the silver hot dog. It turned out to just be a piece of cardboard that was decorated up. But still, she got to go see the taping and, and got to pie her mom in the face, so that was fun. Not many people can say that they got to do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Wienerville was uh, that's a time capsule. Yeah. And, and if you don't Anyone who was born after it, it's it, it, it'll be one of those. This show exists. What is this? Because this show was pretty big at the time. I always thought they were just one step, like a little bit ahead of their time, especially mm -hmm. for some reason. Like I oh, definitely go back and watch that now as an adult because I, yeah, this Nick has really had something special for a long, long time. It didn't. It really did. And a lot of their shows were ahead of its time. And something that I want to uh, point out here, um, a little while back, um, maybe, I don't know, two weeks ago or whatever, um, I had sent Catherine um, all three of the episodes that she appeared on, um, Keenan and Kel, digitally um, through Google Drive. So, because uh, you had mentioned, Catherine, that your mom still had the VHS tapes from Universal. <laughs> so. Yeah. Somewhere in the pantry closet. It's like. So I, I just wanted you to have some uh, updated episodes, you know. <laughs> I felt like I got my 15 minutes of fame back. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't like rotting away in the tape somewhere in my mom's kitchen. <laughs> oh, do you, you got uh, the Amazon DVD? Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to remember which ones they were. I know they were, um, uh, haven't got time for the, for the paint. Mm -hmm. um, it's the afternoon. This Day Afternoon, one of my favorites from season yeah. two. And The Crush. Yeah. And all three of those, I think, can be found on uh, yep. Paramount+. Plus. Yeah. yeah. For anybody who's watching and wants to check those out. I'm disappointed and in then, the Amanda show. And then, you, then you can Plus. all mock Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Keenan. Hi, Cal. Ready for school. Can't you tell it's the same person with this voice? <laughs> But it really just goes to show that, you know, uh, the impact you can have on people uh, to remember, you know, all those, you know, quotes and everything uh, years later, oh, you know. So happy. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to look at the... Uh... Who said that, well, they don't need to watch the show to do that? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah I... Love you, so... man. So you two, Catherine and Alex, right? Mm -hmm. 
you guys like any other animation? I'm I'm like the animation guy. I love all areas of animation. Are you guys do you guys like animation in general? Well, I um own a little kid's birthday party company. So, um I probably have seen more Disney princess movies more times than most adults that have children. <laughs> um so yes, I'm a huge fan. Um, I, when I lived in LA, I got to go to, oh gosh, I can't remember the name of the school, but it was a visual, visual effects school. And I got to go see some of the making of Frozen and, um, yeah. And I just, I am still stunned. I mean, it still feels like a different universe that those people live in that, um, that create this magic. To, to answer your question, yes. Um, I am very, very open when it comes to movies, uh, especially movies, but TV shows as well. I love the way, I love the whole filmmaking process, uh, no matter what the medium is when it comes to making movies and t television shows. But animation, yes, absolutely. Of course, I loved it as a kid. And uh, then whenever I became a teenager and was slowly getting out of quote-unquote kids shows, uh, I had lost interest, but I still ended up coming back to them because at that point, it was the 2000s, and they were really starting to delve into computer movies, uh, computer-generated movies. So you got a lot of the Shrek and uh, and Toy Story was a big hit in the 2000, or uh, 90s, or mid to late 90s. And then other animation companies were, hey, we can we can do what Disney did, and then, uh, you, then you get Ice Age and all those things. So animation, hand-drawn animation, really took a dive in, in the 2000s, but I still really enjoyed animation in general and i i especially want to support hand-drawn animation whenever that makes its very very brief appearance in in modern culture yeah so i i can't even believe it we're almost at the end here uh it's almost been <laughs> half an hour it goes by quickly um but uh do you guys want the to answer the questions now or do you want to save for a few minutes um from now or um i'd say go ahead just <laughs> Just in case, uh, we don't want those questions to get overlooked. Right. Um, so I had 10 questions sent in bet between the four of us. Um, so I will answer the ones that were directed for me first. Um, and someone asked, uh, do I have any more interviews lined up uh, for my fan page with any more of the cast from Keenan and Kel? Unfortunately, I don't for the moment. Um, but I've been trying to work on getting some of the uh, family from uh, you know the show um, for interviews and I haven't really had luck with that quite yet um, mm -hmm. and then uh, I had put up a few uh, full episodes um, a while back and someone asked uh, where they went and unfortunately there were some copyright issues with them um, you know there were a few that went through but uh, I just when I couldn't upload another one I just decided to take it down Um so I have five here for you, Catherine. Um, oh. <laughs> so I'll try to ask this as quick as I can um, for the people that sent them in. Um, first one here that someone asked was, um, did you ever get to keep any of the scripts um, from either, uh, from any of the uh, episodes that you appeared on in Keenan and Kel at all? That is a really good question. And I feel like all you're doing tonight is pointing out my age because I can't remember. Um, I'm sorry. These are what the people ask. I know. Know. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, people. Um, I don't, I believe so. Um, but we would have like, we would have a different one every day. And I mean, I know we couldn't take it out. I'm pretty sure we couldn't take it out of the building, like on a daily basis, but um I used to always get things signed whenever I was in a show. So I want to say like, at least I kept part of one and like got it signed or something, but that would be a Bernie Megan question. I'll have to call. I'll have to call my mom. <laughs> <laughs> He's my biggest fan. <laughs> the second one I got here was um, obviously uh, when you were on Keenan and Kel, they like told you to like dress a little nerdy, you know, for the character. Um, and someone had asked if, um, the uh, wardrobe that you wore in those episodes came from like 
the department. Um, I, w- I would assume that Keenan Kel had like a wardrobe department or did that like actually come from like your own, like, uh, they you know. had, they had a, you're right. They had a wardrobe department. Um, and they were awesome. They were so funny. They were like, we know you need to be nerdy, but like, you're so cute. We're going to make you cute. So I was always the nerd with the short skirt, like <laughs> very, very silly, but I loved my outfits. Um, yeah, but they were all from wardrobe, except I would always throw in one thing. I wanted my character had like a thing when it ended up being more than one episode and I would bring a pen. So I think I have a flower pen at one point and then I have like a fuzzy pen another time. That was my thing. <laughs> All right. The third one out of five. And like I said, I'm trying to ask you as quick as I can. Um, what were some, and I think we already kind of talked about this earlier a little bit, but um, someone had asked uh, what were some TV shows that you specifically, Catherine, um, grew up watching? Ooh, yeah, Clarissa explains it all. Um, and Freshman, Full House, My So-Called Life, Stay by the Bell. Um, I'm trying to think of, yeah, I actually watched a lot more live action stuff, Riley, than, than cartoons. Um, like, it's funny because I was not, not that I wasn't a Disney uh, animation fan when I was younger, but just not as much as I am now. <laughs> um uh, yeah, so those are some that I can re- that really stick out. All right, the uh, fourth one here is um, with your interview with me, um, on, which you can go check out for those watching on my page, my interview with Catherine and along with Alex here. Um, Catherine had mentioned that uh, you know she was possibly going to reach out to Kel after the interview to you know since we were talking about the good times and whatever and someone wanted to know if you had um reached out to Kel at all since the uh interview i didn't other than i keep sending him stuff which i'm sure you do too um but i keep pinging him like when we're going live or something just just in case he's like hey what's going on but i i have not reached out so i i totally need to drop him a note all right, and then the last one I have for you, Catherine, that um, the people sent in, and this is actually a This Princess Life uh, question. Um, someone had asked, you know, between, um, you know, I would assume, you know, the hair, the makeup, and, you know, everything, like how long it takes to get into character for your uh, business. Oh, wow, uh, I've gotten a lot better at it, but, um, okay, so, so my trick was I got – eyelash extensions and that saved me like 45 minutes of crying (laughs) um but then i got them taken off recently so now back to the crying but um i yeah it takes i mean it it definitely takes at least an hour to get into makeup and i need i realized that i need help like i've tried to get dressed in those gowns by myself and I can't do it without my boyfriend here or without having another performer here because I've tried to lace myself up backwards tons of times and that takes way more time than it should. So, um, yeah, right. um, at least an hour plus now 45 minutes of crying and gluing. <laughs> all right. Moving on to you, Alex, I have two questions here. Um, okay. someone, someone had asked, um, how many platforms and you should all go check out the, uh, splat attack podcast but someone had asked how many platforms is your um splat attack podcast with brett available on In pretty much name it uh it, it, our big one is youtube We're, we've really been doing a lot visually so that it's become a, a, a vid cast i guess you could call it but uh, we are on spotify google uh, apple itunes um uh, I listen to FM. Uh, there's, there's a ton. Uh, and I think they had just dropped a Samsung. So we're going to try to get on there. I think the only big one that I'm aware of that we're not is Pandora. And, and that's just because they've been rather difficult to get partnered up with, but pretty much think of one of the bigger podcast locations and, and more than likely we're there. Okay, and then the last one I have um, for you, Alex, that people sent in was, um, would you ever uh, sell any custom Nickelodeon DVDs? Because I guess this person had had seen your collection. I guess there were some custom uh, Nickelodeon DVDs that you had, um, and I guess I, I don't know if you would ever. Like I did. Them. I did make 
some a long time ago. Uh, I, uh, it, it started off as a as a birthday gift, no, a Christmas gift uh, for a, a really dear friend. And then I found a lot of the shows that you can not find. So the shows like Salute Your Shorts and 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 shows like that. And no, I wouldn't sell them. Uh, there was a time when I did, uh, but I I don't want to sell them. Uh, but I will make them available to you. So if there's a show that I've got that you would like, I will be happy to trade that off because uh, that's not illegal to do. So uh, I, if there's a show that you're interested in and I've got access to it, let me know and, and I'll try to get it to you. All right, and then I have one last question here for uh, Riley. I apologize if this was taking too long, um, but these were, you know, the, the, the pre-questions that people sent in. I was hoping for more, but I am still a pretty small ch- uh, page trying to grow, but, you know, not easy. Um, and the one question I have for you, R- Riley, well, not that, sorry, ugh, uh, that someone had asked was, um, did you play young Sheldon's older brother in young Sheldon? <laughs> No, I am an actor, but I did not. I did not do that. No. <laughs> All right. So um, that's the questions that I've got uh, from uh, gathering um, for the, from the people. Uh, Yay! Thank you to everyone that asked questions. Yes, thank you, everybody. Helps a lot. And hey, somebody said hey, Alex, a minute ago. I didn't see who it was, but it was so quick. But hey, what's up? Were they were they asked in chat? No, those were sent uh, prior to the. Uh, Oh, yeah. Okay. Because well, I was through, say, uh, through, I... through through one of his uh, Instagram stories. Yeah. Yeah, I had um sent in. Or, I'm getting all bamboozled here. Uh, I, I I had the. That's question, a word I've never you, heard anyone I've, say. I, I've had the question, <laughs> you know, uh, pull, and some people, you know, type, you know, their questions in and uh, sent them in, and I've just been keeping a sheet, which you can't see, but you can hear the papers, so. Uh, yeah. Um, so we're looking a little bit past a uh, half an hour. Um, you guys maybe want to hang up just a few more minutes and wrap it up, or um, oh, go ahead. Disney or... Plus has a great question. Everybody has to answer first because I don't know. He says, what? "I got a question. Who would you all want to play you in the film of your life?" Ooh. I like mean, any actor. Yeah. Okay. That's such a good question. You're the best. Oh, boy. I could I could reverse that. If they ever did a movie of Jim Jim Carrey, I'd want to do that. I acted oh, like I'm Jim Carrey Jim all Carrey. the time when I was a kid. Uh for me, I said I, I have no I wouldn't even begin to know who to pick. Lady Gaga. Not for you. I would say <laughs> I would say Jerry Lewis. Ooh. Should should play me because I I can move really crazy. I don't always do it. I'm not like Jim Carrey crazy. We're like it's just all the time. But Jerry Lewis has a nice balance, and I move like that normally. I I would say for our uh, our host who should play him would be. One of the characters, the act, and and I tell you, but none of you would know who it is, but the actor who played Blofeld in From Marshall with Love, because you never see his face. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> or, 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 or the parents in any classic cartoon. And, and yes. One, one thing I'll point out while I'm on the subject uh, is our comedy wizard in the bottom left, you know, was sending me all types of, you know, <laughs> things before. This before this live, and one of them I had sent to Catherine about um, the damn it, Janet uh, meme. My God, <laughs> he was like, uh, just in case, uh, I want you to know who you're dealing with here. And I was like, yes, yeah. <laughs> I'm in. Yeah, I, so for anybody, uh, when Catherine had fallen ill due to her illness, what's up, David? And I, I saw that you were in here. Uh, of course, every time I hear the name Janet, I think of Rocky Horror Picture Show. And then when uh, she, we had to delay because her voice was was completely gone. I, my first gut reaction was, damn it, Janet. <laughs> uh, 
someone had asked a question um for you alex um uh <laughs> yeah that's yeah that's you um <laughs> Jesus. what someone asked what it was like interviewing mark summers which i didn't even know oh. you interviewed mark summers actually so that was awesome that was really, really awesome. Uh, so for Splat Attack, uh, I, we just released our episode last Wednesday where we got to interview both Mark and Robin Russo from Double Dare. Cool. And uh, I, I've had the great opportunity to speak with Robin before. This was the first time that I got to speak with Mark, and he was a gem, uh, which I, is nothing that none of you have heard before, I'm sure. But he did, uh, the, the, both of them took the opportunity just to stop and say hello to my wife, which was completely not planned at all. She just happened to walk past over here to drop something off, and Robin had stopped to say, hey, there's your wife. Hi, honey. And then, of course, I had to tell her, and and because uh, none of this is in the episode, and um my wife stopped to, uh, hi, I'm a big fan. And then Mark just took over. Hey, what's your name? What do you, what do you do for a living? Where are you guys at? And I mean, he took the time out of his day just to talk with somebody who walked in the background and was very, very eager to answer the questions that we had and share stories. Uh, he, he was awesome. I, I, I hope to have another interview with him again. I'd like to, I don't know if we're going to do it or not, but I'd, I'd like to do a Halloween episode on the uh, magic special that he did at some point. Yes, that would be so cool. That would be so cool. <laughs> oh, well, looks like you've got uh, something you want to say, Catherine. Um... <laughs> oh, sorry. I just, I was typing that to the last question. I just. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> There's a actresses rolling around in my head <laughs> oh. um uh riley you said you act where do you live where you're, i'm in ohio so creepy where what <laughs> i'm in ohio oh okay it's i don't do like um i do like uh nothing like uh professional but i do a lot of like indie kind of things awesome um like there's there was this thing I did in Vegas uh, called the Sugar Crash, which is probably coming out pretty soon, I think. Cool. And I actually have uh, this. We, this was in uh, a memorabilia from the film. Aw. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Oh, that's the same shirt. <laughs> 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 I'm doing acting as. Uh, stepping stone for me to get into animation. I like. It. Do you want to do voiceovers, or do you want to learn? Um, like you're an artist as well. Mm -hmm. I am, yeah. yeah. But but voiceover is cool. I would like to do that as well. Yeah. I uh, I've been told I have a voice for it, like a like a tone or something. I don't know. So the thing with your cheeks and you. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool so uh has, has everybody been enjoying this so far yeah it's been, it's been terrible yeah. i've hated every second you of it every single yourself. <laughs> you seriously think we're gonna enjoy this crap <laughs> huh uh, every i feel so bad for him every single time he's posted anything i have said the complete opposite <laughs> in yeah. the story uh, are you going to be there? Are you going to be there tonight in the polls? And I put, sorry, no, I can't make it. <laughs> and then I'd, I'd send a gif of like evil laughing or something. I've... <laughs> or Macaulay Culkin running jerk. by the stairs, you know. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, we'll, I do so many uh, ridiculous things. We'll, yes, uh, it's been a lot of fun. We'll wrap it up in a few minutes because I don't want to keep you guys, you know, past your time. Um, it's whatever. My time is everyone else's time. Yeah, and I, I owe everybody for being a whispering <laughs> mouth. Um, you owe nothing. Someone should ask you, Catherine, if you are a voice actress. Um, yeah, can't you tell with this wonderful... <laughs> um, I, I actually... Um, it's funny, I can't remember his name, but the guy that directed the Rugrats movie, when I first moved to L.A., um, he was doing a... like a 
like words are so hard on a Friday evening. Um, he was doing a promotion or something like trying out a new short to pitch. And he was like, could you come in and do some voiceovers for this movie? It's about a young dragon slayer. And I was like, yeah. He was like, because your voice kind of sounds like a 12 year old boy. And I was like, <laughs> cool. <laughs> um, and then I was like, and it does. Now it really does. But, um, but, uh, uh, oh yeah, I can sing right now. I bet everyone would, everyone would shut down. Um, I, I, for, uh, I worked for, for a while and I did do a lot of um, commercials on air. I love doing voice work. Love, 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 love. Thank you for asking. <laughs> I will not be singing right now. I and, do uh, party song, <laughs> and I'm going to be like, Oh, well, uh, the Beast and I went to a Metallica concert last night, so, I'm so <sighs> but I lost my voice. Like, I don't know. Oh. So jealous. <laughs> so jealous right now. <laughs> I got a question um, for you, Alex, because, um, you know, with you, Riley, you know, uh, you know, like doing a little bit of acting um, and obviously Catherine here, who has done a lot of acting. Have you, um, like, done, like, acting before um yes uh quite a bit not anything that anybody has seen before but i've done a lot of community theater uh a, a, a lot uh, i've started in 2002 i think no it wasn't that early it was 2009 and uh i've recently put a stop to it uh just because i had a I had a kid uh, by my second born and I really wanted to take the time to be a dad and take care of him, uh, especially since my wife has scoliosis and she can't really do a lot of the heavy lifting. And uh, also when he was born, she, he was born C-section. So she was really not in a place where she could take care of him as much. So I didn't really haven't done anything acting wise in two years uh, just to be a dad, but I've done a, a lot of acting. I've been in the play Amadeus. I was Amadeus. Amadeus. Uh, I've, what's something else that you guys might have done? I've done several Shakespeare shows. Several. We've we've done Shakespeare in the Park many times. Alex, where are you in the world? I'm in in the middle of nowhere. I, I'm in Kentucky. My mom grew up there. I, I, I've got friends in Kentucky, so it's not nowhere. <laughs> I am literally in the middle of nowhere in Kansas City. <laughs> and I'm in no, I'm not in Kansas. <laughs> uh, favorite Shakespeare play? Good question. I can tell you what my favorite one was that I performed, and that was Taming of the Shrew. Mm. And I got to play a very, very ridiculous character. I can't think of his name right now, but he was the right hand to the prince. And um, and I ended up pretending to be him. So I started off as this, and it was complete character choice. I started off as this really nerdy, geeky character. I had these big glasses. And then, because uh, the guy who was playing the prince was really tall. So then I would talk really deep, and I would pull my suspenders up and try to make myself really, And, of course, everyone would see through the disguise as I was trying to do it. And every once in a while, the character would, would slip and I go like to be in there. You go oh, no 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 no. But it was and of course it's outdoors, so it's got to be really big and over the top, so people can can see and hear it. It's not at all realistic. It's but that was the most fun uh, play that I've done for Shakespeare. Oh, I miss Shakespeare plays. I, and I remember reading those books in class uh, years ago. That's about as much that adventurous I've ventured into. You know. <laughs> I, I even though I've done them, I really struggle trying to understand them. I, <laughs> the second most fun one I've done was Titus, and that is one of the darkest plays ever. Uh, and, and the reason it was fun is because everyone was trying to find ways to make fun of how dark this was, uh, because there was a scene where I was murdered and my wife was raped right next to my dead body uh which again it's it's 
part of the play. So the director was trying to think of a way of how can I do this on stage and it not go too far. So somebody said, hey, can we turn this into a musical number? And they all started to do West Side Story. It didn't end up in the show, but that was one of the pitches they had. So very dark, twisted sense of humor. So the second most fun show I've done. It's also based on the period play, though. We've got uh, something from, it says, um, Kai Cat and Fez. I don't know who Fez is. Accidentally clicked on the live link. Is that your uh, dog's name? Yeah. Oh, okay. You have a dog there. I didn't even know. <laughs> well, it's a bit... I didn't notice. <laughs> Fez has been there the He's whole so time. Cute. He's so cute. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Thanks, Beth. Because she's named after Andre the Giant and the Princess Bride. And then my new puppy, he's 13 or 14 weeks now. He's named Andre after Andre the Giant, and he is next door at the neighbors because he's still learning. <laughs> Anybody want a peanut? But want peanut? <laughs> Do um, either of you, uh, Alex or Riley, have any pets at all? Yeah, I'll start. I guess I yeah I have. You asked if we have pets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have three dogs currently. Yoshi, which is our newest pup. Link, I just call him Linky because let's face it, the name Link kind of sucks. And then you got Samus. And we had, for the longest time, we had this cat. She was so sweet. She was just pure white, and her name was Daisy. And she, at night, she would bark for some reason. And then we would like open our door, and she would come cuddle up with us at night, and it was adorable. One day, this is about two months ago, my dad ran over her by accident, uh. and he came in. Hey, uh, I think I ran over the cat. And it was so split. We had some friends over. It was so split. The cat was? I didn't... <laughs> no. We... Oh, God. We didn't, we didn't know whether to laugh or, or, like, be upset. Like, we just – it's funny. Just oh accidentally God. running over a cat. But, uh, man, I still miss – yeah. then, our... then we got this evil, like, replacement cat, Kirby. Like, just – orange and just like rah, like just attacking everything <laughs> and so it's gone now Ugh. it's with a different family uh do i have any pets yes i have two boys uh <laughs> but i do have two actual pets uh well i don't my son does we have two cats uh one Oreo is what we call him. He's white and black and uh, one orange. And he has named them Olivia and Otis after the TV show Odd Squad because that was one of his favorite shows when he got them. Oh, cool. And just for me, uh, I have one Bichon uh, Freeze. His name is uh, Luke. So it's a what? A Bichon Freeze or Frizz. A, yeah, terrible. I don't know. That. Is, that like a, is that like a breed of it's, something? It, it's like a white. It's like a white dog you know white fur curly hair um you know it's an ice cream cone yeah br brown <laughs> eyes he, he's great um had one before his name was buddy um lost him a few years ago but uh luke definitely helps to keep uh the family sane let's just say that animal love is tough like when it i always say like it's so sad when an animal dies especially when it's a dog for me so like ear muffet when, when i move out <laughs> i'm getting a freaking cat Okay, no uh, dog because I love dogs more. When the cat dies, it's not going to be as sad, and uh, and and like because I don't care about cats as much. Dogs die much quicker. Cats live longer, so it's like all right. And this is kind of off topic, but someone had asked a uh, favorite ice cream truck treat. I've Orange Lazarus. <laughs> uh, Mine would definitely be those like cookie like ones with the uh with like the little uh chocolate chips you know around them and probably, i mean it's not really ice cream necessarily but uh it's just still a still a treat that you get yeah my answer would be my official answer would be yes yes <laughs> it's, it's ice cream treats G give me all of them i don't have a favorite <laughs> Uh, I hate to be that gal, but I do hear Andre the Giant barking like crazy. <laughs> so I am going <laughs> to. All right. But... Well, I, I was probably going to say we were probably going to wrap it up um, 
in like two minutes anyways. Um, so that works out. Well, it has been such a pleasure, you guys. I'm so excited to have you in the, in, on my Insta feed now and um, and keep, where are you growling? And um, keep in touch and, and um, yeah, Alex, I'm just a big fan of your page now, so. Thank you, I'm glad you enjoy it. All right, take care, Catherine. Oh, bye, guys. Pleasure. I it's like I'm princessing. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 Later. All right. Um. So, any like final uh, thoughts or questions or anything? Uh, Try my best not to freak out <laughs> for those. You know, the, <laughs> during the whole thing. For those in the chat, uh, if you want to ask your final questions, ask them right now. Um. I'll give it about a minute or two if that's cool with you guys. That's cool. Thank you to everybody who's given questions so far. Much appreciated. And, everybody appreciated. In. and thank you for inviting me back. I really, it's, it's always a treat to do these with you. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, it was nice to meet you, Alex. It was nice to meet you too, Riley. You're welcome, guys. Uh, ask, ask your final questions. Unfortunately, if you had any for Catherine, she's gone now. Um, but if you uh, guys uh, have anything else, uh, please write it now. Um, write it? Well, you know. I know what you mean. <laughs> I'll, I'll text my wife something and, she'll, and she will tell me to shut up. And then I'll say, I can shut up, but I can still type. <laughs> oh, man. She asked me to make her a peanut butter sandwich once. And I got the entire jar of peanut butter and just put it between two pieces of bread and gave it to her. She has to be very, very careful with the words that she asks me. <laughs> hey, Alex. It's me. You ever watch uh, Tom and Jerry? Absolutely. It, not not the Hanna-Barbera one. The uh, the Van Buren, Tom and Jerry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good stuff. This is some of my favorite cartoons ever. Yeah, the Tom and Jerry ones. It was one of my favorite cartoons, period, yeah. as a kid. So any iteration of them. Loved them. Yeah. And, I, uh, like, I'm sorry. I will say I've watched a little bit of it, but um, I wouldn't know too much knowledge of it to give a final opinion on that. Um, yeah. yeah, just so. just to be clear, I'm not talking mouse and cat. I because the Van Buren and Tom and Jerry is very obscure and like not well known. Mm. So it's uh, talk about the two du two animated dudes who go on musical adventures. That I have not seen. That is. So those are some of my favorite cartoons. It's from 1931 to 1933. 26 were made. And um, it's from one of my favorite animation studios that it sadly ended in 1938, the studio. But really good stuff. Really surreal. Check it out. All right. Yeah. So um, one final question that I'll have for the both of you. I waited a few minutes to see if uh, people would send any questions. And um, it doesn't appear to be so. But one final question <laughs> I have for you guys was um, obviously um, – you know, Catherine has been, you know, on television before, um, has done, you know, some some roles before. Um, what was it like for you guys to, uh, I guess, officially uh, meet her, you know, um, on this Instagram live? Go ahead, Riley. Speechless, I guess I should say, because, like, Keenan and Kelly is one of my favorite shows, and I always thought her as, like, the definitive, like, side character even though she was short-lived in the show i thought she was the definitive side character um and it's just kind of freaky but it's, it was just nice to know like okay because like you know when you when you when you when you're with people like that it's like you want to be professional and just like all right let's do this and then she just comes out just being all goofy and you're like all right i just had you know just give up the professional just just be all off the walls and everything <laughs> so and uh you alex it's a bit of a cliched answer, and I've said it numerous times, but it's it's an honor, um, and and I don't say that as a, as a general. Oh, it's such an honor. It it really is. I've had the great opportunity to speak with a lot of different creators, uh, from small supporting characters to some of the more noticeable ones, and hosts, and writers, and and uh, producers. And every single time, 
just like today, it's an incredible honor to get the opportunity to talk with them, ask them some questions, get to know them as an individual and what it was like making the show. So it's, it's always a blessing every single time. And this one is no exception. And I will say, you know, as you were mentioning Riley, you know, that kind of worrying about, you know, being professional, like I'm always thinking that in my head, whenever I'm doing these, like whether it's, you know, Alex here, who I did before, or, you know, Catherine, which I also did before, which me and you got to do one in the future. Um, I'm always worried about those things too. And I'm thinking in my head, like, Oh, I hope, you know, I, that this was good, you know? And um, I'm thinking, you know, it was pretty good. Um, and I really enjoyed it. And, I just thank you, you know, and obviously I thank Catherine who I'll, you know, text and thank her again for joining. Um, but just thank you guys for, uh, you know, joining and um, spending some time, you know, just having no script, just free ball and do whatever, you know. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. And uh, thank you to everybody out there who has watched. I know it wasn't many people, but – Thank you to those who have watched and thank you to those who sent in questions. Um, and we really appreciate it. So for those who, um, last thing I'll say, for those who didn't catch this live stream, it'll be on, on my page. So if you want to go back and rewatch it, it'll be uh, right up immediately. So thank you guys again. And uh, maybe we can uh, do something again in the future. We shall see. Sounds good. All right, take care, guys. Peace out, everyone. Bye.